One of the easiest and my most favorite breakfast ever is just having a single type of fruit. This is truly the fastest of food. I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating today and it's super hot so I thought a great theme would be no cooking necessary or no cook meals. These are my favorite melons, Tuscan melons, and last year we saved the seeds and we've actually just planted them so I hope they come out in the garden really nice. Something like this is a perfect example of keeping it low calorie density but high in volume so you leave feeling full of fiber and water and sugar but it's super low calorie. Voila, I've got my breakfast. That took like two minutes. And normally I would just throw these away, but I'm gonna show you my secret of what I do with these. These melons have not been good this summer, but the last two that I've bought have been good, so I'm hoping this one is too. Oh yeah. So good. <laughs> So I wanna share this with you. This is called Wrinkle and it is a composter that we've been using here now for about a month. So it always bothered me how much food waste we had and with this indoor composter, I'm going literally from the garden to the kitchen and then back to the garden. It's Actually, it's like a full circle and it's making me feel really happy about our choices with food. So I really wanted to compost for a long time, but it was always really messy or smelly or we tried this thing at the back and then some bears got into it, it was just a mess. And so with all the new gardening project that we were doing, I decided I, I wanted to try it again and we chose Wrinkle. It turns food scraps into nutrient rich compost in about 24 hours. It's odor free, it's hassle free and it's really easy to use. I love that it's reducing our carbon footprint and it increases the soil fertility and structure. So if you've tried composting before and you haven't really liked it, I really recommend this product. It's been really cool to be able to use for us in our family. So it goes in there and it'll start to churn and within like 24, 48 hours, everything turns into compost that's usable for when we plant plants in our garden. Wanna see my favorite part of this? Cause I am like a neat freak, I love this. Ah, isn't that great? You open it with your foot, you put it in, you don't get mess everywhere. For lunch, I'm just gonna make a wrap. A wrap is one of the easiest ways to get all the things inside and you can take it to go anywhere. And we've got a busy day, so I'm gonna be on the run. I'm gonna make it now and show you what I'm doing with that and then be able to take it along my way. So I've got some stuff in the dehydrator that is just finished. I keep the dehydrator in the garage. <laughs> I've got a wrap that I made and some really nice cheese that I've made and I'm just gonna show you how I season that. If you don't have a dehydrator, there's really no worries about it. I'm just making a wrap here. A good sub for a whole food plant-based wrap is an Ezekiel wrap. And then I've made this cheese in the dehydrator, but I'm going to share with you how to just have it in your house. You can do it in your oven or just on your windowsill and it will come out really nice as well. So the base of this is cashews, but you could use pine nuts if you wanted to also. I, we like a big batch, so I made double portion, two cups of cashews. I used one acidophilus capsule and um, about a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a cup of water. And this comes into a semi-formed cheese. It's just in a nut milk bag here. So you can season this however you like. We've been really loving fresh oregano, crushed red pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. But um, instead of using a dehydrator, if you don't have one, you could stick this in your oven at the lowest temperature for like 12 hours or even on your kitchen counter for 24 hours. And then you can season it afterwards. So this is the acidophilus that I use. I really like it, it's dairy free and it's worked really well whenever I make different kinds of cheeses. I'm gonna cut some oregano. Uh, I really like it fresh, it makes such a nice flavor on that um, cheese. And then since I'm out here, I'm gonna cut some lettuce for the wrap as well. I did a little experiment and put all these different kinds of lettuce seeds in here to see what would happen and they've grown quite nicely. So I've got some arugula, some red leaf, and I honestly have no idea what this is. Do you know? <laughs> I Don't know. And I did the same thing over here, but the only thing that grew was mustard greens. Oh, I just love the color of this. Isn't nature amazing? That's so beautiful. Okay, so back to the cheese. I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of a mild red chili. I honestly don't know what this is. My friend gave it to us, and that's what it said on the bag, mild red chili. Then I'm gonna go with a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. 
I'll mix this together. And that's really the base of it. And then what I'm gonna put on top is some crushed red pepper flakes and those oregano leaves. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of salt after tasting it and realize it needs a little bit of salt. If you're a salt-free person, then obviously don't add this. Now you could put this in some kind of spring form and then stick it in the fridge, but we just aren't fancy here. And I'm just putting it in like a Tupperware container. And then that way we can just grab at it whenever we want it. So right on top, come on over Chris so I can show. And then I just like to sprinkle crushed red pepper flakes on top. I know this seems like an exorbitant amount of these, but I'm telling you it tastes amazing when you get into the cheese itself with these on top. And then I just pick off some of these leaves and place them on there. And then you get a really nice flavor explosion uh, every time you <laughs> eat this, it's so good. So I've been experimenting with so many different wraps since I got my dehydrator about a year ago. And one of the best ones is from Lissa Raw Food Romance's book, Hand Salads. This is the Everything Bagel Wrap. It's probably my favorite one. Um, a lot of them just fall apart, but these don't. So I'm gonna take a tablespoon-ish of that cashew cheese uh, sauce, and I'm gonna just spread that around. Next, I'm just gonna lay all that lettuce down that I cut from earlier. I'm gonna add some sliced tomato. Obviously make this your own if you're doing this in any kind of wrap. I like these wraps because they're huge. Add some red onion. And my favorite, the hot and sweet jalapenos from Trader Joe's. I just feel like these add so much to my salad and wraps. And I'll do some mustard on top and a little bit of black pepper. Okay. Okay, then you just wrap it like a burrito. I'm pulling this back. I'm tucking the sides in and then wrapping. I have a little rip in there, but it shouldn't matter too much. And then I'm just gonna cut this in half and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Isn't that beautiful? Completely grain-free and delicious. It smells really good. You guys want some? <laughs> Let's give it a taste. Mm. Flavor explosion. Typically, I eat this along with extra lettuce as I go. It's so delicious. Oh my gosh, try this. To go along with the no cook theme for the day, I'm going to be making like a Mexican inspired salad with some fresh corn that I'm just gonna chop off the cob, some black beans, which I have down there, and a really creamy avocado based dressing. So let's make the dressing first. So I'm gonna use a whole avocado to make this dressing. If you have a Vitamix, you know how it is. It just does not spin or move if you don't have enough stuff in there, but I'm not gonna eat a whole avocado in one sitting because that is way too much fat for me. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of fresh lime juice. I have a big clove and a tiny clove of garlic, but if you have a big clove, that's probably enough. Then I'm just going to have about a quarter cup of fresh cilantro leaves. I'm putting those in there. Some salt to taste. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of water in there, and then I'm gonna just spin it, grind it, blend it, and see what needs to go in next for taste. Okay, so in my opinion, this needs a little kick. I'm gonna add half of a serrano pepper and a tiny bit of sweetness. Um, I'm always coming back to that fat, acid, sugar, salt uh, combo. So I'm gonna use like the tiniest eighth of a teaspoon of maple syrup. I feel like that should be plenty and a touch more of salt and I'm gonna blend it up. This is how I make things on the fly. I'm just tasting as I go. <laughs> So let's see if that made any difference. Yeah, that's what was missing. A little kick, a little sweet. Okay, let's assemble the salad because I'm pretty much done. No cooking necessary. I'm just going to get these corns uh, out. One of my favorite things to do because corn can be eaten raw is just get it right off the cob like this. Got a tomato monster stealing all my tomatoes. Gonna chop up some lettuce. I've got a little bit, I've got romaine here, but any variety will do. And then I'm just going to slice up, I just got like a handful of tomatoes from the garden. Some nice little cherry tomatoes and grape tomatoes. I've got some Cuban black beans, the recipe from Eating Coal that I made at the top of the week, and I'm just gonna put these in there cold. All right, let's assemble this really easy salad that you can make for dinner or lunch or whenever you're feeling salady. Okay, got all my lettuce. So my assistant here uh, agreed that this meal would taste great with some grapes on the side, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, you're gonna help me put some tomatoes? We wanna make it look pretty. So can you put all the tomatoes right here? Very good girl, thank you. Very nice, wow. You're a natural, a foodie. Yes. You're, yes. I'm a foodie. 
<laughs> I'm gonna add some red onion, not too much. Got my beans over here. And here is the dressing that we made. Put it right in. I think that's yummy. It is totally yummy. I think you would really like it. Right in the center. Does it taste like avocado? Or is it too spicy for you? It's not spicy. Is it good? Yeah. So what's amazing to me is normally I would just throw this away, but I've been composting stuff like this now and it's not wasteful at all. So thanks to Naya's suggestion, this is actually what I would really eat. I would start with some grapes um, to keep full and get some nice sweetness. And then I would move on to some salad like this. This is really easy if you were going to like a party or something like that to make the elements ahead of time and then just throw it together at the party. Perfect for summer when you just don't want the heat. I mean, I can feel it right now. It's really hot in here and I don't want any stove going on right now either. So easy. I'll leave this recipe and the others down in the description if you're interested in recreating these this week for yourself. And if you wanna try mess-free composting in your own home, I'll leave the link down to Wrinkle in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed these really simple recipes. I'm trying to keep it so very easy and so very simple for you because I know that's what you want. I'm wishing you all the health and all the wellness and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.